What's going on all of my pre-healthcare brothers and sisters? I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Today we're continuing on with the ATIT's question review series and we're going to be discussing ratios and proportions. Question one. A sleepaway camp had 120 campers last year divided evenly into eight squads. This year, the number of campers will rise to 165. If each squad has the same number of students as last year, how many squads will camp this year? Is it A, 8, B, 10, C, 11, or D, 15? And the correct answer is C, 11. So to create a proportion, we have to use two ratios. The first ratio is the number of campers to campers to squads last year. So 120 campers is divided by eight squads. The second ratio is the number of campers to squads this year. 165 campers divided by X squads. We don't know what the answer is. We set the ratios equal to one another. 120 campers over eight squads is equal to 165 campers over X squads. We then wanna cross multiply and solve for X, the missing number of squads. 120 divided by 8 is equal to 165 over x. We have 120 times x is equal to 165 times 8. We multiply 165 times 8, that gives us 1,320. So we have 120x is equal to 1,320. But we need to further simplify to get the answer for x. So 100 and thir I'm sorry, 1,320 divided by 120 is equal to 11. This year, the camp will have 11 squads. All right, hang in there. Question two. A model of a skyscraper is built according to a 1 to 2,000 scale. If the model skyscraper measures 30 centimeters in height, which of the following is the actual height of that skyscraper? Is it A? 6,000 centimeters, B, 15,000 centimeters, C, 60,000 centimeters, or D, 66,667 centimeters? And the correct answer is C, 60,000 centimeters. To begin, we have to create our proportion, setting the two ratios equal to each other. We have one divided by 2,000 is equal to 30 centimeters over the actual height. We want to cross multiply to solve for h, which is the actual height. So we have 1 over 2,000 is equal to 30 centimeters over h. Then we cross multiply, we get 1h is equal to 2,000 times 30. 2,000 times 30 is 60,000, 1h is just 1, so we know that the correct answer and the actual height of the skyscraper is 60,000 centimeters. The scale on a trail map indicates that one centimeter on the map represents 10 miles. Lila walks a distance of 12 miles on the trail. Which of the following represents the measure of that distance on the map? Is it A, 0.6 centimeters, B, 1.2 centimeters, C, 6.4 centimeters, or D, 12 centimeters? And the correct answer is B, 1.2 centimeters. To begin, we create a proportion, setting the two ratios equal to one another. One centimeter is equal to 10 miles, so blank centimeters is equal to 12 miles. We cross multiply to solve for C, the missing numbers of centimeters. So one over 10 is equal to C over 12. We cross multiply, we get 10C is equal to one times 12. One times 12 is 12, so that leaves us with 10C is equal to 12. And then we further divide. Uh, C will become uh, 12 over 10, and then C will inevitably equal 1.2, giving us our final answer in the measurement of distance on the map of 1.2 centimeters. The families on a neighborhood block have 14 dogs and 20 cats all together. What is the ratio of dogs to cats on the block? Is it A, 7 over 17, B, 10 over 17, C, 7 over 10, or D, 10 over seven? And the correct answer is C, seven over 10. The ratio of dogs to cats on the blocks is 14 over 20, which can be further reduced to seven over 10. Two hours into his hike, Isaac has an altitude of 300 feet. 
Six hours into the hike, he is at an altitude of 900 feet. What is the average rate of change? Is it A, 900, B, 600, C, 300, or D, 150? And the correct answer is D, 150. To evaluate this formula, we use the slope formula. The y values are the altitude and the x values are the hours. So we have 900 minus 300 over 6 minus 2. We get 600 over 4, which can further be divided into 150. Meryl reads 360 pages in 180 minutes. How many pages can she read in 30 minutes if she reads at the same rate of speed? Is it A, 45, B, 60, C, 90, or D, 120? And the correct answer is B, 60. We have to create a proportion using those two ratios. The first ratio is the number of pages read in 180 minutes. So that would be 360 pages over 180 minutes. The second ratio is the number of pages read in 30 minutes. Blank number of pages divided by 30 minutes. We set the ratios equal to one another. 360 over 180 is equal to blank over 30. We use the number P to represent the missing number of pages that we need. 360 pages is equal to 180 minutes is equal to P over 30 minutes. Then we cross multiply. That leaves us with 180 P is equal to 360 times 30. 360 times 30 is 10,800. So that leaves us with 180p is equal to 10,800. But then we can further divide. So we've got p is equal to 10,800 divided by 180, giving us our final answer of 60. The doll collector store has an inventory of 420 dolls. A total of 70 dolls are made of porcelain and the remainder are made of plastic. Which of the following is the ratio of the plastic dolls to the total number of dolls in the store's inventory? Is it A, 1 6, B, 3 8, C, 5 6, or D, 7 over 8? And the correct answer is C, 5 6. The store has a total of 420 dolls. The number of porcelain dolls is 70, so we subtract 70 from the total number to find the number of plastic dolls. 420 minus 70 is equal to 350. The ratio of the plastic dolls to the total dolls is 350 divided by 420, which can be further reduced into 5 sixths. Gerardo has 180 marbles. Of these, 120 are solid colors, and the rest are multicolored. Which of the following is the ratio of the multicolored marbles to the total number of marbles in Gerardo's collection? Is it A, 1 over 3, B, 1 over 2, C, 2 over 3, or D, 5 over 4? And the correct answer is A, 1 over 3. Geraldo has 180 marbles total. The total number of solid colored marbles is 120. We subtract 120 from the total to find the total number of multicolored marbles. So 180 minus 120 is equal to 60. The ratio of multicolored marbles to the total of a number of marbles is 60 over 180, which can be further reduced to 1 over 3. A replica of a radio tower is built based on a 1 to 300 scale. If the replica measures 9 inches in diameter across its base, which of the following is the diameter of the base of the radio tower? Is it A, 1,200 inches, B, 1,500 inches, C, 1,800 inches, or D, 2,700 inches? And the correct answer is D, 2,700 inches. We create our proportion, setting the two ratios equal to one another. 1 over 300 is equal to 9 over the diameter. We cross multiply to solve for D, the missing length of the diameter. So 1 over 300 is equal to 9 over D. When we cross multiply, we get 1D is equal to 9 times 300. 9 times 300 is equal to 2,700. 1D is just D, so our final answer is 2,700 inches. Moving on to our final question. A map contains a scale showing that every one inch on the map represents 10 kilometers. A cyclist wishes to travel a distance measuring four inches on the map. Which of the following represents the distance the cyclist will travel in kilometers? Is it A, 3, B, 4.8, C, 30 or D 48. 
And the correct answer is D, 48. We want to start by creating a proportion, setting the two ratios equal to one another. So one inch over 12 kilometers is equal to four inches over blank kilometers. We cross multiply to solve for K, the missing number of kilometers. So one over 12 is equal to four over K. We cross multiply, we get one K is equal to 12 times four. 12 times four is 48, one K is just K. So our final answer, the cyclist will travel, is 48 kilometers. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.